Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this DIY, first I'm using this image as of a project that I did years ago. Basically had this tree canvas that I painted, changed my mind, removed like the canvas part, kept the frames. Then I turned them into necklace holders, decorated them pretty similar as I'm doing today, but I changed my mind and decided to redecorate it because I liked them, but I didn't love them. Then took one of them to make like some home decor, like wall art, kept two of them. And so this is where we are today i'm going to be painting them with my brown acrylic paint this is a custom acrylic paint that i made and i do have the diy showing you how to make this it's pretty simple giving this a few coats then i'm going to be taking my gold acrylic paint my round sponge and i'm going to be like sponging my gold being actually pretty random as to where i apply my gold because these are like vintage inspired I'm going to be taking pink acrylic paint, my brush, and a lipstick that I'm going to be using as a dotting tool. This is a really pretty lipstick, by the way, it's by NYX. This is just me sharing with you this pretty shade. It's called Minimalism. I'm using like the bottom part of the lipstick as a big dotting tool and applying pink circles all over the place. Then I'll use my green acrylic paint, my brush, painting some leaves. Kind of like have a triangle shape, the ones that I'm painting. And in some roses, I'll paint one leaf, then in others, two, in others, three leaves. Then I'm going to be taking this mauve pink. I have another DIY showing you how to make this. It's pretty simple, easy, and I think it's really cute. And I'm going to be painting like the petals, painting a C in the middle and then going from there and painting like a round edge zigzag. In some of them, I went with my white acrylic paint and did, and did the same thing. Then with my red acrylic paint, I went and painted some like red roses. Then I changed my mind about the leaves. I wanted them a bit more vibrant and so I mixed my green with some yellow and pretty much painted over what I had painted previously. Then I'll be taking some construction nails. So this is going to be like customized. One of my frames is going to be like for necklaces and the other one is going to be for earrings. For the ones that are going to be earrings that are going to be like around it and I'm going to be marking with my sharpie where exactly I want those earrings to be hanging. Going with my ruler and just marking so that everything looks even. Then I'm going to be taking my hammer and I'm going to be having those nails. And because my uh, construction nails are silver, I'm going to be painting them with my gold acrylic paint and some brown just mixing a bit of gold with my brown and just painting like the top of like those nails i'm going to be making this shiny by just adding two coats of this spray gloss working outside wearing my gloves and then as i mentioned before i previously had this two frames so i had this nails and like on the walls and everything was just there so you just hang them so if you do this, hammer some nails on the wall. And honestly, if I were to do this again, I would just tape them that you don't have to make holes on the wall. You just use uh, tape specially for this. But yeah, guys, this is what the hangers look like. I'm glad I went for this like refreshment because before all my roses were like pink and it was okay, but it looks much better now. It looks much more alive, like fun to look at. And yeah, obviously you can hang anything you want, like keys, masks. But personally, I'm going to be using this to hang my necklace necklaces and earrings then the one that is for my necklaces has like a lot of like room to grow for my earring collection but there is this was a pending project that i wanted to refresh in and i thought i would share just in case you're looking for a hanger and you have like frames paintings or just canvas that you don't use anymore maybe this will be helpful handy and you liked it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more home decor that i have on my shelf subscribe for more and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye